Hi friends, thanks for watching! Did you know that in PowerPoint you can do something like this? Handwrite in a math equation and then have it converted into text and symbols that you can edit like anything else in PowerPoint. Or convert hand-drawn shapes like these into shapes and text that you can manipulate in your slides. Or even use a ruler with your lines to make sure they're perfectly straight. Whether you have a touch screen, a digital pen, or even just your mouse, you can do all of this and more in PowerPoint. Let me show you how ink and drawing tools work. For the first example, we're going to handwrite a math equation. I'm starting here in the Draw tab up on the ribbon, and I'll select a pen here. You'll see there's different options for colors and thickness. Let's say I want to go with black, and maybe this thickness right here. Yeah, this one I think will be good. Now you might notice there's another pen here that looks exactly the same, and it is. The idea here though is if you have two pens that you need to toggle between, say that you frequently need to use a red pen and a black pen and you don't want to have to toggle these settings every time, you can just click between them. So that's why there's two that kind of look the same because they are. Okay, so I've got that pen selected. Now there's a few options to actually physically do the drawing. You can either do it with touch, meaning with your finger on your touch screen, or you can use your mouse. My handwriting with a mouse could easily be confused with that of a five-year-old, so I'm going to use the touch screen here on my laptop for this example. If you also have a touch screen, make sure you've got this selected, and if you're using your mouse, just deselect that. Okay, and then just using your touch screen or your mouse, let's start our equation. So we've got our open parentheses, we're going to do x plus if you make a mistake, you can always do a control Z. I'll finish my plus sign here. Three. Close that. This will be squared. And then equals four. All right, so pretty simple equation. If you want to replay that, there's an option for ink replay here. And that'll basically play back what you just did. If you want to show that as part of a PowerPoint show, you can also just make that an animation. So here on the Animations tab, if we select everything, we can do the replay. All right, but back to our equation. I'm actually going to do a Control Z to get rid of that animation that we just applied. To convert this into actual text and numbers that a computer can recognize, we're going to select it using the Lasso tool right over here. And you just basically lasso, or draw a circle around everything that you want to convert. And then up here, say ink to math. And there you go, it looks like you just typed it in, right? And you can type things in here. I need to deselect this draw with touch so it recognizes my mouse. So I can click in here now and I can update this. Change my symbols, whatever I need to do. All right. Let's move on to another example, something a little bit more complicated. Now this one took me a while to handwrite out and I won't force you to watch me do that, but I took the same steps as before. I just came up here, selected my pen using the same settings, and then in my case it was draw with touch because I was using my touch screen, and then I wrote this out. We can convert this into computer recognizable math as well. Again, just come over to the lasso, circle everything that you want, and then again, ink to math. And there's our equation. I think it's quite impressive. All right, moving on to our next example, let's see how we can work with shapes. Maybe you want to use PowerPoint as a way to kind of brainstorm something, and you want to make a list of pros and cons. So again, I'll work with the pen up here. I'll increase the thickness. Let's go with something like this. And for pros and cons, maybe I want to do pros in green and cons in red, but there are some kind of fun patterns down here as well that I'll just show you. Rather than green, maybe we'll do ocean. Now I'm going to draw a box for our pros. And then for cons, we'll just have a little bit of fun with that other pattern here, lava. Same thing over here. Now if you make a mistake on these, let's say you went over just a little bit here, that's what the eraser is for. So up here if you select eraser, and for this we're going to do point eraser, we're going to erase just a little bit of it, and then just come over here with your mouse or your finger and get rid of what you don't want there. 
Okay, now let's select the black pen again. And we'll write out prose, just using my mouse this time. And then over here will be our list of cons. Again, I do not have the best handwriting when it comes to the mouse. All right, now let's say you want to convert these into actual shapes and text that you can work with in PowerPoint. Once again, you can do the lasso, so just select. We do need to do the shapes and the text separately here, so select this shape, and then up here say Ink to Shape. And then to select an individual object, you can click on that arrow there and move it down. This one has a nice light fill because we're using those patterns, which is kind of nice. Let's do the same thing over here for this shape. So lasso around, and again we'll do ink to shape. I'll pick this up by clicking on the arrow here and move this down. It's actually happened to be the same size, even though I'm sure they weren't when I hand wrote them. Now we need to do the same thing for the text, so let's lasso our text up here. And we do ink to text for this option. And then another one over here for the cons, ink to text. And there we go. Pick that up, move it around. Just as we saw with the math equation, you can type in here and treat it just like regular text. All right, one final example. Say that you're helping to plan a wedding and you want to show where the venue is in relation to where folks are staying. For this one, I'm going to grab the pen. We'll go with this orange color here. If you do need a specific color, though, there are more options here, the standard more colors that you get with the Office products. But we'll go with this orange color. And wedding venue is going to be right here. And let's say that the guests are staying here by the beach. And I could write in the labels for those. But this is just the same as what we did before. Venue. I won't make you wait for me to do that other one. What I want to show you for this, though, is the ruler, which is super handy if you need a line to be very straight for some reason. Come up to the top and select Ruler, and that'll place it across your slide. Then to move it around, you can just come over here, move it wherever you want, click on it, pick it up. But the thing you probably need to do is rotate it. Right now, if we were going to walk from the venue to where the guests are staying, it's not quite right. So there's a couple things you need to do here. You need to get into ruler manipulation mode. And to do that, you're going to hit Shift F6 on your keyboard. And that'll make the ruler a little bit more gray, so you can tell that it's in that mode. To rotate it, there's a couple options. If you want to do it in 15 degree increments, Hold down your Alt key and then use your arrow keys to rotate it around. So this is the left arrow key going counterclockwise and the right arrow key will go clockwise 15 degrees. If you need something more precise though, you can go one degree at a time. To do that, hold down your Control and Alt and then use your arrows to go just one degree at a time. Okay, let's say that's about where I want it, that guests are going to walk from the venue to where they're staying, roughly on this route. Now if you go pick up your pen and try to draw, you want to be right on the edge of that ruler. So don't go over the ruler, that'll actually move the ruler. You can do a Control Z. Let's move the ruler back. So be right on the edge of the ruler, kind of come up against it, and then as you drag it along, that ruler will keep everything in a straight line. That line, of course, is too long for where the guests are staying, but hopefully you get the idea. To get rid of your ruler, just click on the ruler button right up here. And that's it! Some really cool things you can do with these tools in PowerPoint. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, check out my other videos on the channel, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified of new uploads.